according to Hat Future Lab, cybercrime itself will cost over $11 trillion a year uh, by 2027. What this means for leaders today is that we need to prioritize ethics alongside growth and profits. Ethics should be your North Star. Every organization is operating at the edge of ethics. So really having a point of view about how we scale ethical, inclusive, transparent AI is a major imperative. Change, it used to happen as a breeze. Now it feels like a category five typhoon. The story of AI is still being written. Will AI be an enabler or an enforcer? Will AI be augmented or automated? My goal is to ensure not just profit maximization, but human maximization. I think the next revolution won't be technology. It will be more humanity in our leadership. I think there are two big takeaways for AI right now, for leaders anywhere. Number one is how do you harness AI to lead the future boldly? Efficiency gains, transformation, which is faster, more sustainable, and more inclusive, lowering costs, and augmenting what we do. So humans spend less time on routine, soul-sucking work, and more time on high-value, intelligent work. Takeaway number two, uh, longer term is how can we use and harness AI to redefine and reimagine our business model? These are two exciting tailwinds for leaders to think about and turn into platforms for reimagination. The writer George Orwell would have relished these times. We have meme warfare, digital skullduggery, cybercrime. According to Hat Future Lab, Cybercrime itself will cost over $11 trillion a year uh, by 2027. What this means for leaders today is that we need to prioritize ethics alongside growth and profits. Ethics should be your North Star. Every organization is operating at the edge of ethics. So really having a point of view about how we scale ethical, inclusive, transparent AI is a major imperative. I think we need an AI constitution for humans. The speed of change is truly breathtaking and that creates tremendous risk, but also tremendous opportunity. My number one insight today is that we always overestimate the risk of doing something new, for example, working alongside AI, but we always underestimate the risk of standing still. In a world of AI, not taking a risk is a risk. When used ethically and inclusively in a purpose-driven way, AI is a force multiplier. It's a simplifier, it's a clarifier, it's an enabler. I recently worked with an entrepreneur who's 18 years of age. She's created an app called Timeless that helps those with Alzheimer's. It uses geotagging, facial recognition, to help those stay connected and reconnected with their family and loved ones. This is a great example of how we can use AI to elevate what makes us more human. And that's what I'm passionate about, humane AI. AI that helps us to flourish as humans. There are three big issues associated with AI governance. Number one is market instability. Number two is antitrust. Number three is data privacy. For leaders scaling and sustaining an AI-centric future, it's absolutely imperative to make sure that you have a shared perspective at the board level on what constitutes inclusive, ethical AI. One of my favorite phrases is from the psychotherapist Esther Perel. And she says, we should be careful of artificial idiocy. If you think about those two letters, AI, artificial idiocy. When used intelligently, inclusively, ethically, AI has the potential to elevate our leadership, our organizations, our societies for the better. 
for example, speed to discovery for drugs. But when used unethically, without governance, rushing to market, it has the potential to erode trust in society, to create what I call truth decay. There are three big takeaways to think about today. When we're thinking about the future of AI and its impact on digital minds and digital trusts and digital humans, we need truth, transparency, and trust baked in to our AI models. The future's still being written, and this excites me and creates opportunity, but we should not overlook the risks associated. Mm -hmm.